Welcome back. We're gonna finish the question where we left off, and I actually had a hunch before I started the video. My hunch is this kind of looks like a right angle. So if it is, then this is the altitude, and to find the area, I wouldn't have to do these subtracting squares. I could just do base times altitude. So let's find out. We know that to meet at a 90 degrees, it has to be perpendicular. And perpendicular means opposite reciprocal. So the perpendicular slope, we know there's a relationship between the slope and the perpendicular slope. So I'm gonna just use my eyes to kind of look at the slope of this line. So it looks like the slope of this line, I went over three, up six. Well, slope is rise over run, so I can't really do over first. I have to either rise or fall, so I fell six, so the slope is fall six, so I fell six, and then I ran three forward. So it looks like my slope here is negative two. Now when I look at this line, it looks like that just might be a right angle. I'm just not positive. So I can actually double check that, learning what I learned from the, using what I learned in the last chapter. If I go rise three, rise three, run one, two, three, four, five, six. Notice this is perpendicular. So the perpendicular slope here, if I reduce the fraction was one half, and notice it's flip the sign, flip it upside down. So that's actually pretty cool. I can find the area of this triangle if I know the base here and I know the altitude here. I just can't forget to divide by two because it is a triangle. All right, so let's actually um, find this length and this length. And that's gonna help us for the perimeter anyway because we're trying to add up all three lengths. So we figured out that our area here would be base times the altitude divided by two. And since we do have a 90 degree angle, this would be an altitude, or I could call that an altitude, either one. So to figure out the length, I have to think about this triangle that's living right here. Think about this triangle, shading it in with a pencil or something. I notice it is a right angle, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, okay. So this length would be three squared plus six squared, and then take the square root. When I look at this length, AC, I think I'm noticing the same thing. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. So it just so happens that this orange triangle and the green triangle, the same shape, and I'm betting AC is gonna be the same length because I went three, one, two, three, and I went six. So the length of AC is six squared plus three squared. I think these are the same thing. Let's go ahead and work it out. So we do six squared is 36, three squared is nine. When I add that up, I get 45. Now, if I look here, three squared is nine, and six squared is 36. And when I add them up, I get the square root of 45. Very cool. All right, so now I can plug this back in. I have the base, let's call this my base, and I have the altitude, and then again, I gotta divide by two. So the base is the square root of 45, and the altitude is the square root of 45. And when I divide by two, I actually get 45 over two. Oh boy, what happened there? Well, something special happened. If you look at the calculator, uh, whenever we take the square root of a number, so if I took 45 squared, uh, that's 6.7, right? 6.708. And then if I took the same number and multiplied it again, so times 6.0708, Oh, that didn't work. I think I typed it in wrong. So 45, the square root of 45 is 6.7082. Okay. And then if I multiplied it by the same thing again, so times 6.7082, enter. 
Ooh, see how close it is. So that's actually what happens when we take the square root of 45 times the square root of 45, we just get the plain old number 45. And our answer is 45 halves. Now let's find the perimeter, and we're almost there. So the perimeter of a three-sided shape is three, adding up the three lengths. We know this length is the square root of 45, and this length is also the square root of 45. Now we just need to find this length. So let's make a new rectangle. I go over three and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this triangle, I can find the hypotenuse of the pink triangle, and that will tell me the length of BC. So it's the square root of three squared plus, we said we went up nine squared. So doing the math, three squared is nine, and nine squared is 81. So that would be the square root of 90. Ooh, pretty cool. Now, normally we'd leave our answer because last time these three were three different numbers, but this time it's going to be a little different. Notice I actually have two square roots of 45. So I can actually write this in a simpler way. Two square roots of 45 plus the square root of 90 and I'm loving it. I'm going to circle that as my final answer. So here was my area and there was my perimeter. Awesome. One more to go. So now you're probably going to switch to the back of your piece of paper. I got to uh, switch to a second piece because mine bleed through. So looking at coordinate three, um, I noticed that my x values range from negative one, oh wait, negative three, up to the number two. And the y values range from negative six to negative two. So when I think about this, I don't need any positive y values just down here, if I made an x, just down below. But my x values need, so I kinda gotta move over a little bit. Because I need to go to negative three in the x, but only two in the x. Interesting. And then all my other values are actually negative in the y. So this graph, if I'm trying to save paper, I'm really just going to graph here in quadrant one, two, just in quadrant three and four. Let's do it. I went negative one, negative two, I'm going to call that a. Two and negative six, so one, All right, and C, negative three, negative six. And we'll call that C. Oh, I'm loving it. I finally get a triangle that's sitting on an axis. And I notice, I know the base. I can drop an egg from the altitude. I know the base is here and I can just count that. And I know the altitude and I can just count it. So the area here is going to be a lot easier than the other problems. The area is equal to the base times the altitude divided by 2. It's still a triangle. So the base here is CB. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the altitude is straight up. 1, 2, 3, 4. So when we do our calculations, we get 20 divided by 2 or 10. Perfect. Favorite. Now I still need to find my perimeter. So my perimeter is of a three-sided shape. I'm going to add up three numbers. I already know CB is five. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Now I just need to make some triangles to find out the hypotenuse. So here I can find out AB by making this orange triangle and counting the sides. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So the length of AB is the square root of four squared plus three squared. Cool. Now I can do the same thing for AC. Let's make that a pink triangle. And so using Pythagorean theorem, this side squared, so this would be two, 
2 squared plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 squared. And then I have to take square root of the whole answer to find the hypotenuse. Now, let's do it. This one's already 5. This one we have to simplify. So the square root of 4 times 4 is 16 plus 3 times 3 is 9. So I get the square root of 25. Ooh, that doesn't happen all the time. I actually got a number. So this also happens to be the number 5. So the orange side is 5. The green side is 5. Now let's just simplify this. So 2 squared is 4, and 4 times 4 is 16. So the, I combine these and get the square root of 20. Now I'm going to transfer it over here, and this would be my final answer, but these numbers can be combined. So I'm going to go down here and rewrite my final answer. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus the square root of 20. And I'm going to call that my final answer. The perimeter of this triangle right here is 10 plus the square root of 20. And the area of this triangle is 10. Thanks for joining us.